The pretty girl has a great balance between smart and casual looks, with outfits that appeal to everyone. One large colour story has been created of pink, blush, cream, white, pops of red with light and mid-wash denim running throughout. Layering is key with knits, denim jackets and PU leather to give a tougher look. Key outfits include yoke shirt with a mom jean, floral dress worn over a jean, conversational tee with gingham frilled skirt and a gingham blouse with embroidered denim skirt and biker jacket. The key pieces in this girl include gingham in all guises, embroidered denim, leather, ruffles, standout florals, cut work on dresses and blouses, softer styling on bags and western studding on accessories and shoes. Evan Silverman's very sportswear influenced, with branded tees, slip dresses and oversized jumpers running throughout. One large colour story has been created balancing khaki and denim with pastel shades. Candy colours in jersey and metallics have been played up and showing work of art and graffiti denim are all in key sight line. The Evan girl loves to wear her slip dress over a sweat with a slider, any bralette hybrid tee with jeans and metallic skirts with rock tee, graffiti denim jackets and a trainer. Slouchy, casual, sporty backpacks are paired with either trainers, sliders or platforms with holographic 90s shades to finish the look. The main key pieces within Urban are coloured metallics, khaki jackets to balance the pastel and kagul rain max styling. Sequin graffiti and paintwork all come together with talking point tees to make the Urban Girl. Stylist is our more premium customer. As you can see, outfit builds are clean and smart. However, minimal denim has been used to create a high-low feel. We have two colour stories within this girl, the priority palette being tomato highlight and cotton shirting. The secondary includes fuchsia, jade, royal blue highlights. For ease of shop, all colour trousers have been outfitted within this palette. In terms of arm configuration, double tees have been used within the wall to give a more boutique look and to complement the more premium outfits. These include smart ta tailored shirts, tailored cloths, clean cotton shirt with mom jeans, basic tee with structured blazer and straight leg denim or a premium suit, asymmetric print skirt with slouchy knit, belted mat with pop from blouse and a straight jean. Finally, a wrap dress laid over a kick flare trouser. The main pieces in the skirt are asymmetric hemlines, blouse and, blouse and sleeves on blouses, dresses, jackets and knitwear, cotton shirting and pop flint street smart tailoring, blazer dress and trench coat styling. Modern totes and leather bags are paired with either midpoints, fluffy sliders and trainers to help give a minimal look. In terms of creative treatments throughout the store, Topshop wanted to look at a new approach and as such have done an exciting collaboration with illustrators Mason Stower. Head office worked with them on creating a bank of illustrations that could work across all guises, from windows to in-store creative, adding a fun element to the stores. With this in mind, they decided to keep the creative quite minimal and pared back, bringing in new soft colours and textured surfaces to work with existing marble, concrete and plaster finishes. You will see the graffiti style illustrations throughout the store, in particular in the area in which stylist sits. Areas of the store that have not been rolled out by head office include shoes, the shoe window and the void areas by the lifts. In order to devise displays in these areas that relate closer to the industrial feel to model store with a minimal colour palette, Rich and I conducted visual research and came up with the multiple ideas for each area before trialling them and liaising with our area manager to finalise the plan. The main areas that I have worked on include the void areas and shoes. Our aim for these areas was to create something unique, but also something that brought together smaller elements of creative treatments throughout the store.
Urban girl on first floor is our priority three girl. She still has a sporter inspired look, but this time it's paired with candy coloured hoodies, summery crush velvet, oversized tool and statement slogan tee, which gives her an angry but feminine protester look with a nod to 90s rave. Our priority one girl at the front for this model store is pretty. She is our typically feminine girl who loves lace detailing, ruffled blouses, and vintage inspired florals. She keeps her look edgy with embroidered denim and her graphic gingham print which is massive for the season, which she styles in a cool grown up way. Priority 2 for this model store is Stylist, which has been split into two separate colour stories. Stylist is our street style fashion blogger girl. Colour story 1, opposite the tills, is all about statement pieces, such as asymmetric wraps, wide leg trousers, trench coats and button up shirts worn in a modern way. It's all about the exaggerated silhouette. Colour Story 2 by the side though reflects the current 80s fashion revival. While it's not an everyday look, stylist girl reaches for this when she wants to be noticed. It's all about the electric pops of colour teamed with vinyl and patent leather for a true 80s feel. Thank you. 